Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning. The Missouri Tigers visit Ames on Saturday night to play the Iowa State Cyclones. Iowa State starting quarterback Austin Arnod will miss the game. The senior's career as a Cyclone ended after he suffered a knee injury in the Cyclones' loss to Colorado last Saturday. He will miss the rest of the season. Arnaud ranked second on the Cyclones' all-time passing list in both yards and touchdowns. He started 34 of the team's last 36 games. Jerome Tiller will start in Arnaud's place. Missouri tight end Michael Agnew is one of eight semifinalists for the John Mackey Award, honoring the top tight end in the country. Agnew has stellar stats with 71 catches, most of any tight end in the nation, along with 586 yards and three TDs. Former Tiger tight end Chase Kaufman won the Mackey Award two years ago. If Agnew wins, the Tigers will be the first team to have two players with this distinction. Missouri Volleyball takes home more Big 12 honors. Freshman Molly Kreklow is the Big 12 Rookie of the Week for the fifth time this season. Senior Caitlin Van has won the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week. This raises the Tigers' tally to 12 weekly honors, most of any team in the conference. Mizzou has won six straight matches and plays Texas tomorrow. Every Tuesday, I will honor the top NFL performance of the week. The most impressive player receives the coveted Sean Superstar of the Week Award. This week's winner is Michael Vick. Vick earned the superstar status with 333 yards passing and four TDs through the air. He added another one here, throwing a 48-yard pass to Jeremy Macklin. The former Tiger makes a stellar catch there. The controversial quarterback, Vic, also rushed for 80 yards and two TDs like this one here. His six touchdowns led the Eagles to their 59-28 massacre over the Redskins. The Eagles get a little revenge for their loss to Washington in week one. That's it for sports, but be sure to check in with KOMU 8 Sports all day as we bring you more Missouri basketball media day coverage.